Have I got a treat for you. Chicken adobo in the Instant Pot. Man, it's the best thing ever. Now, how many of you have one of these little R2-D2 looking things sitting around, but you're not using it? Bust that baby out, because I'm going to teach you how to make the best chicken you'll ever eat. In the Instant Pot, I'm putting in one package of frozen chicken wings. These are drumettes. You can do flats. It don't matter. And you can also double or triple this recipe. That's how great it is. So once I get that in there, let's start our marinade. So this is the basic um, size for the marinade. It's one half cup water, one quarter cup of white vinegar, and one quarter cup of soy sauce. That's it. So you're going to have at least one cup of liquid. I mean, how easy is that? This recipe comes to me from one of my great Filipino friends, Tessie. Um, she's from the Philippines, and this is her family recipe, and it's so good. So the vinegar and the soy sauce are going to tenderize this meat. And guess what? Normally this takes two to three hours to cook on a stovetop. We're going to have it done in 15 minutes. What? It's true. 15 minutes. Beauty of the Instant Pot. This is five cloves of garlic that I just smashed with my knife and then gave it a rough little chop. I'm also going to add just the weeest sprinkle of salt. There it goes. And then a big old pinch of pepper. Now, why did I put a little bit of salt in there? I use low sodium soy sauce and it does need just that extra little bite of salt. So we're just going to dump our marinade in there all over everything. And then we're going to slap the lid on this baby. And we're going to set the, the setting to meat for 15 minutes. Bam. Now, if you look, you're going to see that the little lights are rotating there. That means it's building up pressure. Once it gets to pressure, the countdown begins. And it's 15 minutes. It's unheard of. 15 minutes later, I'm going to knock the valve loose to let the steam out. Because don't forget to do that before you turn it on. Lock it. Once that steam is out, I'm going to take the lid off and you'll see a lot of water coming down, which is why I like to use my Instapot next to the sink. Tip of the day. There you go. Now, once I have the lid off and set down, I am going to remove the chicken, only the chicken, and I'm going to put it in a bowl. Why? Because we are going to use the same pot because this is a one pot wonder dinner and we're going to thicken that sauce up. And how are we going to do that? Super easy is how. So once I get all these out, I'm going to put it to the sear mode, which heats up the bottom really quickly. And we're going to boil it until it reduces by half. Hey, if this is your first video watching of mine, welcome. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing to the channel. I have recipes from all over the world. Don't get stuck in a rut. You know, Travel the world in your kitchen. It's so easy, and all my recipes are super easy, just like this one. So I hit the sear button, and you can see now that it's boiling good, and it started to reduce. Once you can drag your spatula across from it and the bottom stays visible for just a few minutes, you're ready to throw that chicken back in. So the reason I do this, it's going to continue to flavor up the chicken, and that sauce, as it reduces further, is going to thicken up and become a glaze that's going to glaze over these scrump delicious fall off the bone chicken wings if you've never had chicken adobo you have no clue what you're missing so so tasty here's the beauty you can use thighs or legs just not white meat the adobo does not pen the adobo marinade does not penetrate white meat so you have to use a dark meat you can also use beef or pork i'm telling you i've done all three and it's excellent so now you can see I'm dragging my spatula across the bottom and it's pretty thick. So it's time to unplug this baby and transfer this pot over by my plate. And let's serve this baby up. Here we go. Now what I'm doing here is I'm just giving it one little wipe around just to get it glazed over really good. Then we're going to put them on our serving platter. And here we go. Oh, look at that. Rice and chicken adobo. Decorate it with some sesame seeds and boy howdy you got yourself something. I hope you like this video If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Have a wonderful day